At St Thomas's Hospital in London, health workers are taking every precaution against COVID-19. A woman who developed symptoms shortly after arriving in the UK from China is being treated in isolation. She had taken an Uber to Lewisham Hospital and was then transferred for specialist care. Uber says the account of the driver has been suspended as a precaution. But if infected people are now in the densely populated capital, what risk to the rest of the population, particularly those using public transport? Rush hour, packed into one small environment, lots of people, it's very, very difficult. With millions of people taking the tube every day, it's a numbers game, the, the risk would increase, but not hugely, significantly overnight. The Department of Health says to avoid the virus, you should wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Failing that, use a hand gel containing at least 60% alcohol and avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. But with only a tiny number of cases in the UK, the risk of the virus spreading on tubes, buses and trains is still very low. Continue as normal, says the mayor. I used the tube this morning, uh, and like millions of Londoners, using the tube, using buses, using public transport. If public health and were concerned, uh, and they let TfL and me know, I'd let the public know. What I wouldn't do is bury this away. Uh, at the same time, we shouldn't be panicked or, or alarmed. A run on face masks has led to a shortage for dentists. The British Dental Association said they could struggle to safely see patients as soon as the middle of next week. In China, the health ministry has reported a sharp increase in cases, though that's largely because in Hubei, the outbreak's hotspot, people with bad coughs and pneumonia are being classified as having the disease before it's confirmed by a lab test. Most are still mild. This disease is still predominantly severe in those who are over 40 with the higher severity profile that increases actually with each decade after that and uh, predominantly too that severity is amongst men rather than, than women and we haven't seen a significant shift. There are still relatively few cases outside China and 80% of them picked up the virus while visiting the country. The World Health Organization remains optimistic that the epidemic can be contained. Thomas Moore, Sky News.